Ms. Irene Kui. Mr. Deputy Speaker, I am in support of the Fire Safety Bill amendments, which include mandatory critical fire safety upgrades for existing buildings and tightening regulations of fire safety products and materials sold in Singapore. The Ministry of Home Affairs should be commended for their progressive and preemptive responses to install fire alarm devices or smoke detectors, in short, for new and existing residential premises carrying out firework from 1st June 2018. SCDF, HDB and People's Association has been working together to install smoke alarms in flats let out under the HDB public rental scheme at no additional cost to tenants. More than 50,000 households will be covered under this assistance scheme and installation implemented in phase, prioritizing households with one member aged 60 and above. I understand that there are also ongoing efforts by grassroots leaders and MPs to educate residents on fire safety in their homes. It is therefore very regrettable that MHA is not insisting for, home de for smoke detectors to be installed in all existing residential premises that are not carrying out fire safety work. This is in spite of the fact that existing homeowners are strongly en encouraged, encouraged to install smoke detectors for their own safety. I would like to express that encouraging home owners to practice good fire safety habits is woefully insufficient and it does not provide adequate co coverage compared to home owners who already had that device installed. Consequently, I would like to ask MHA the reasons for the differing treatment and if there are long-term plans to make smoke detectors installation mandatory for all existing residential premises. In 2017, the President of the, of the Fire Safety Managers Association forewarned that in many cases of home fires, there have been cases of injuries or death due to smoke inhalation, which could have happened while the, the occupants were asleep. A localized smoke alarm will alert residents so that they can react to a fire at an early stage. He also cautioned that voluntary take-up rates of fire alarms and extinguisher in homes has been low despite encouragement from the authorities. The fire safety expert from Fire Safety Solution provider in Singapore clarified that often the deadliest fires are small fires that quietly smolder and cause smoke while people are sleeping or in a different room. So without an early warning provided by an alarm, people can be overcome by smoke even before the fire is discovered. A 2015 report by the United States National Fire Protection Association have found that fertility rates from residential fires in homes with working alarms were 40% lower than those without. Out of the 4,114 fire calls responded in 2016 in Singapore, 68.5% were fires in residential area, an increase of 62.9% compared to 2015. These fire incidents have resulted in three deaths and 60 injured in 2017, two deaths and 62 injured in 2016. The predominant reasons cited by the SEDF for residential fires were materials set alight in rubbish chutes or bins or unattended cooking. And recently we have observed an increase in PMD-related fire incidents. So as you can see from the statistic I've cited, smoke detectors will be very effective as a preventive fire safety measure as it will provide residents with an early warning sign. So my proposition to improve fire safety for all residential areas are twofold. A short-term plan will be for SEDF to introduce a fire safety checklist to raise awareness and the level of fire safety standards in homes. Furthermore, government should ramp up educational efforts in community and shared spaces on fire safety. Perhaps volunteers from the neighborhood watch zone or silver generation ambassadors can be engaged to expedite efforts to encourage the take up of fire extinguisher or smoke detectors. Consequently, certified smoke detectors or fire extinguisher or fire blankets should be made more accessible and affordable within the community for purchase as they are the first line of defense in the event of fire. For this purpose, 
a national procurement competition would be very suited to design and introduce a lightweight, all-purpose fire extinguisher easily used by the young and elderly. Residents may not be aware that water cannot put out grease fire and also fire extinguishers are loaded with different dousing agents to fight specific fires. Some extinguishers are ineffective against certain fires while others can potentially worsen the situation. So having an easy to use, lightweight, all-purpose extinguisher at hand will indefinitely reduce the threat of a fire emergency. Supermarkets can then be involved with the sale of this extinguisher to make it more accessible. This way, residents will not need to worry if the fire extinguisher they purchase is certified as there are many types of uncertified extinguishers available online. I then moved to ask if the revised act will cover online sales of non-certified fire extinguisher and how do the authority plan to regulate this. To continue with my proposition, a long-term plan will involve the execution of a 5 to 10 year phase which will introduce new legislation in view of increasing fire risk from an aging population and from more extensive use of PMDs. The implementation process may be long, but we need to start with the first step. The new legislation shall include mandatory installation of fire alarms, both exterior along HDB corridors and interior in homes, while concurrently equipping all homes with a fire extinguisher or at least a fire blanket for economical reasons or practical maintenance. I hope my suggestions provide much needed insight and I look forward to having them considered seriously and implemented. Thank you.